Welcome back to the Lee and Haley Show. Well, as I told you earlier, Haley and the girls especially are going nuts over where is Kate Middleton? So it's a simple I'll, question. I'll put a top man on the job. My, well, I couldn't find a top man, but I found a man. Yes. His name is Noah Day, and here he is, literally broadcasting from Buckingham Palace. He is in London, England now. He is now our royal correspondent. Noah Day, how are you, my dear? Uh, the, the panic you must be in asking yourself, where yeah. is Kate? It must have taken you over. I know. You know, I didn't know that uh, uh, it was going to be so bad here. I'll tell you this. When I got here, I thought it was pandemonium. I mean, they're driving on the other side of the road. They're spending money by the pound and they're calling their fries chips. But then I kind of quickly figured out that's kind of just how they do things over here. So uh, it, it's maybe not as pandemonium filled as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Okay. There's not panic in the streets like I was expecting when I got off the plane. Sure. Now, did you see Kate yeah. in yeah. the airport? Uh, you know what? I did walk around the airport for a bit asking people, where's Kate? Where's Kate? I uh, got a lot of weird looks. Someone thought I was talking about that girl singing, you know, running up that hill. Uh, Kate Bush, apparently from here, didn't know that. Okay. Uh, so I've been learning a lot. It's a very educational place to be. Okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, educational, I got quite the education uh -huh. uh, from the expenditures that Bridget is showing me. What are you doing over there? You're supposed to just get this assignment done and then come home, not live it up like you're one of the royals. Live it up? How am I living it up, Lee? I'm just doing the bare minimum here. Just flow, fly over, you know, get in front of the palace, look for Kate, ask people about her. Haven't seen her. Don't know anybody who has. You know, just the bare minimum, really. You know, now, bare minimum, company, I, put, I tried man. to book you on a Spirit Airline. What did you end up taking? First class? Uh, my, my, um, well, that Spirit, that's first class Spirit Airlines. That basically meant I wasn't in someone's lap and I had enough room on my feet to put my feet on the floor. So What did you expect uh, to do? It's not as bad as it, it's not as bad as it sounds. Mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. first class is a little different than everyone else's. Yeah. And then you stay, yeah. you're staying at the Ritz London? Yeah, well, I, uh, I thought it might not be that expensive i thought it was like ritz like the cracker so i thought it'd be more like a chain See, place i told but you that it is yeah. very nice and i do want to say i appreciate you putting me up there but uh, i do apologize if it's uh mark the bill up a little bit you know but one little one little uh one little bit of uh, extravagance there i, I just made a, i made a minor twink a tweak and uh, twink. i made a minor twink congratulations uh, but I, I shouldn't talk about that here sure but i made a minor tweak and i just fired caleb so we're all right it balanced out. It had oh, to okay, happen. Cool. You know, yeah. just... Okay, that should cover about half of it. I'm telling you, it is. Oh, so do they, nice. now, no, did they not have a room in Buckingham Palace? I mean, that's a big place. Can't you stay there? You know, they won't even they won't even let me in and stuff. I tried talking to one of the security guards, and they give me they're pretty tight lipped here. They wouldn't uh, they wouldn't give me the time of day. Wow. Okay, so now what else have you done? You yelled Kate's name in the airport. Have you tried yelling it just around town? Maybe she's just you know in what? a soundproof room somewhere. I've been other places. I tried to get to the bottom of the story, the very core of what's going on here. It went all the way back to the beginning. This morning we went to Stonehenge, if you've ever heard of that. Oh, wow. Uh, basically just a bunch of rocks, some, uh, some cave people or whatever left in the woods, or, or not in the woods, in a field. But uh, went there this morning, first palace in England, you could say. Didn't see her anywhere. Asked everybody. Nobody knew a thing about it. So, uh, you know, that's one place went to. Uh, went down in the tube. That's what they call a subway, if you the can tube. believe it. Yeah. Uh, nothing down there. Walked around. Uh, it's kind of nice, I'll say. They got a they got a nice subway system here. So essentially, I, no. I have been looking. As I understand this, you're just uh -huh. on the dime here, just enjoying yourself as a tourist, pretending to look for Kate Middleton. No, this is serious business, Lee. I uh, I have been like hard at work gum shooing it up here i i'm trying to get i've been in the crowd working around they warned me about pickpockets and stuff too they said that's pretty bad here so i got all my stuff in the front pockets okay. but i'm working my way through the crowd just kind of talking about you know drumming stuff up seeing if sure. anybody's heard anything any of the scuttlebutt and what is the her, scuttlebutt but, uh, where in your professional royal correspondent opinion where is kate where do you think she is i don't know if she's here and that's very unclear to me i tried to look up you know Kate's house and stuff, but they've got a lot of houses through here. There's a uh, Windsor Castle, there's Buckingham Palace, there's Westminster. I don't know if that's actually a castle or not or a church. I can't tell. I can't tell if anyone's living in these things. But there's well, a I mean, ton of people outside. So have you, have you tried this. the Have you tried the West End yet? Maybe she's at a show. You should go there. Yeah, I went there. A lot of plays. Uh, pretty cool place to be. But I'll say oh. I, I haven't found her anywhere. Don't know if anyone's living in these houses. I wouldn't want to. So many people outside your door all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and a bit yeah, drafty, let's be honest. Maybe she's just very cold somewhere. 
Yeah. So yeah, you know, I'll say this: the weather is not great. I haven't seen the sun in seven days. So, oh dear. Uh, He's it, been there yeah. seven days. What's that? No, impossible. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, Noah. All right. So, well, be be careful while you're out there amongst the English. As the Amish would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They seem pretty nice here. I'll say this. I've been recording for a while now. No one's even looked at me or said anything mean or anything like that. So it, it seems nice. Well, nope. they respect the international press. And and that's it, what it, you are. Who, I, I sent you there alone, so who's doing the shooting for you? Oh, you know what? I actually found a nice man here. Uh, he said he'd hold that camera for me for a little bit. No problem and shoot this. So, uh, but, uh, you know, he's a nice guy. And, hey, where you, hey, sir, could you come back here? Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. come on, come on. This is, has been our royal a, correspondent, Noah Day, checking in from London, England. We sent him there to find Kate, and this is all we've got from him. A hefty bill for a flight, a hotel, and apparently a lot of shows. I'm going to buy him a new phone now, I guess. Caleb uh, is looking for a job now. I hope Noah's proud of himself. The search for Princess Kate continues, as does the Lee and Haley Show. We'll be right back.